Okay, so I decided to make a new tutorial for the Game of Life 3D application. Since the last one I have added quite a few features. So let's go to the simulation and now we can see that the simulation is going on here. There are three layers in the Y direction which makes this a 3D simulation of the Game of Life. If we squeeze the simulation all the way back to one Y layer, we can see the Game of Life as it usually goes. And now I have selected so that cells with two neighbors are getting born. So if I pause this, for example, here we have two cells and for this empty cell here and for this empty cell here, there are two neighbors. So here and here we are going to see a cell getting born and now they appeared in the simulation. But let's go back to 3D and now we can see what this app can really do. For example, we have here the simulation geometries. So let's see the galaxy one and now the simulation goes into a galaxy-like formation. There's the field geometry where the simulation goes into a more chaotic orientation where when we look at the simulation from different directions, it's going to look pretty much completely different. Thirdly, there's this loose geometry, which is pretty much the same that, than the cube, but the simulation cells have more space in between them. If we toggle between these two, we can see that they are similar, but there's more space in the latter one. Now, let's increase the simulation size a little bit, so we can get some more interesting things here. This is already saying warning, it might run slowly, but this is not the case. For example, a PC can run something like 100,000 cells at least, and mobile devices like Android or iPhones can run something like 30 or 40,000 cells pretty well. And now we have a bigger simulation here, so let's go to the features I was talking about, the new ones. And now, for example, we have selected this simulation rules here. Let's change them a little bit. I like uh, the birth value of 4 in these 3D Game of Life simulations. And now let's go to the build seed option. And now I can build a starting condition for my simulation. And for example, for my rules of four cells getting born, uh, this kind of patterns with four cells are quite useful. Because now we can see that here there are four cells here, here, and also on top of this structure and below that structure. So when the simulation starts from the beginning, we can immediately see something like movement in the simulation, because for these four cell structures, the structure itself is going to die, and on the empty space in front of it, there's going to be a new structure of the same sort. So that looks like movement, especially if we ramp up the simulation speed, so that we can really see how the simulation progresses. And now we have already a nice looking 3D simulation of Game of Life here. We have many kinds of different patterns evolving here. And these shapes are moving here like some kind of gas or spaceship or something like that. And we can of course also view this in the different geometries. And the movement is going to look quite different here. It still resembles movement but it's quite different. Also in the field geometry it's completely different looking. And to make nice looking simulations I have also added animations here. When we go with lower simulation speed we can put different animations on and then the simulation is going to look nice when the patterns are evolving here. And for example if we put some kind of rules which are making more cells in the simulation we can nicely see how the patterns are evolving for example with this field geometry. And there are really endless different variations you can do with this simulation application, since even the starting conditions can be so, like there are thousands of tens of thousands of different ones of those. Then you can tweak the simulation while it's going, which in practicality it's endless possibilities with this simulation. And you can also adjust the simulation size and everything. And now we have pretty nice looking simulation here. I think this is all for this video, the download links are in the description, I hope you enjoy this simulation, and bye.